Okay, so now we'll speak about an early computation method. And this computation method is called duplication and mediation. The duplication refers to doubling a number, and the mediation refers to taking half of a number. So let's see how duplication and mediation works. Suppose we wanted to multiply 23 by 15. And I know it would be easy to just type that into a calculator or actually do the multiplication the way we're used to. But what we're doing is we're exploring computational history. And this is what our ancestors, this is what people in the past used to do uh, in order to multiply. So duplication and mediation. One of the numbers we're going to mediate or continually take half of, subsequently taking half every time until we get down to the number one. So we're going to take half of this number until we get all the way down to the number one. And as we do that, we're going to be doubling that number along with taking half of this one. Anytime you take half of an, e uh, of an odd number, we're just going to forget about the remainder. So for instance, half of uh, 23 is actually 11 and a half. We're just going to record the 11 and forget about the half, and we're going to double the other number. 15, when you double it, you get 30. Then we're going to take half of this. Well, half of uh, 11 is 5 and a half. We're just going to record the 5, and when you double 30, you get 60. Half of 5 is 2 and a half. So we're going to record the 2, and when you double 60, you get 120. And then half of 2 is 1, so we're done. Once the number we're taking half of becomes a 1, we know we're done. And this is now 240. So after you've done that, the duplication on this column and the mediation or taking half on this column, what we're going to do now is we're going to eliminate any row for which the number on the left is even. So here, this number is odd, so that's OK. This number is odd, so that's OK. This number is also odd, so that's OK. Here's an even number. We'll forget about that completely. So once again, an odd number. So we're going to eliminate any row that has an even number in its first column. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, numbers from the column that we were duplicating. So we have 240 plus 60 plus 30 plus 15. And this addition gives us, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, 345. So it turns out that 23 times 15, 345. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we wanted to multiply 25 by 12. Same process. So the first thing we do, we take half of this number. Half of that number, well that's 12 and a half, but I'm going to record the 12. I'm going to ignore the decimal. Doubling that number gives me a 24. Half of this number, 6. Exactly 6. Doubling that number leads to 48. Half of 6 is 3. And doubling 48, we get 96. And a half of 3 is 1 and a half. So I record the 1 over here. That's how I know I'm done. And over here, 96, when I double it, I get 192. All right, now I'm going to go through, and I'm going to eliminate any row that has an even number in its first column. So this is an odd number. I'm going to keep that row. Even number here in the first column, I'm going to eliminate this row. Even number in the first column, I'm going to eliminate this row. Odd number in the first column, odd number in the first column. So now, this product of 25 and 12 is actually going to be 192 plus 96 plus 12. So this sum will give us the product. Let's see, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 18, 19, 20. And we carry the 2, so we get exactly 300. So 25 times 12 is 300. So that's one of the early methods that we have for multiplying. Another one of the early methods, not duplication and mediation, another one is called the lattice method. So let's say the lattice method. Let's say I wanted to multiply 324 by, let's say, uh, 
42. Let's say I wanted to calculate this. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create a lattice, basically a grid. Each one of the columns of the first number, or sorry, each one of the digits of the first number, I'm going to give its own column in the grid. And each one of the digits of the second number, I'm going to give its own row in the grid. So I'm going to need three columns, since this is a three-digit number, and two rows, because this is a two-digit number. So to do this multiplication, I need to create a lattice with three columns and two rows. All right, each one of the digits goes here. So I have 324, 324, and I have 42, 42. So I place the first number along the top and the second number along the side here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a diagonal in each one of my cells of my lattice. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to multiply the number in that column by the number in that row I'm going to record the tens digit from my number above the diagonal and the ones digit from my number below the diagonal. For instance, 3 times 4. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. There's a 1 in the tens place of 12. I put that above the diagonal. And there's a 2 in the ones place of 12. So I record a 2 below the diagonal. So 3 times 4 gives me 12. 1 above, 2 below. Tens, ones. Do the same thing for 2 times 4. Well, 2 times 4 is 8. Well, in the tens place of 8, there is nothing, because there are no tens in 8. So I put a 0 up here, and I put the 8 down here. So 0 tens and 8 ones is the number 10. Then I move on. 4 times 4 is 16. So I record the 1 up here, and I place the 6 down here. So that's 16. Then I'm going to move on to the number 2. Well, let's see, 3 times 2, well, that's 6. 6 is actually 0 tens and 6 ones. And then we have, let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, which is 0 tens and 4 ones. And then we have 4 times 2, which is 8. Once again, that's 0 tens and 8 ones. Once I have the lattice all filled out, notice that I have diagonals. For instance, here's a diagonal with only 8. Here's a diagonal with 6, 0, and 4. Here's a diagonal with 1, 8, 0, and 6. Here's a diagonal with 0, 2, and 0. And here's a diagonal with 1. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add all the numbers that are in those diagonals. So for instance, 8 is the only thing here. So I'm going to record the 8 down here. That's the result of adding that first diagonal right there. Now the second diagonal, this one right here, between those two diagonal lines, is a 6, a 0, and a 4. Well, 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So I'm going to record the 0 down here. And I'm actually going to carry a 1 to the next diagonal. So that 1 that I'm carrying to the next diagonal is going to be added to that diagonal sum. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 0 is still 10. And 0 plus 6, or sorry, 10 plus 6, 10 plus 6 is 16. So I record the 6 down here, and I carry the 1 over here. So I'm carrying it to the next diagonal. 1 plus 0, well, that's 1. 1 plus 2, well, that's 3. And 3 plus 0 is 3. And then lastly, this diagonal is only the number 1. So it turns out that this number along the side here is actually that product. This product is equal to. 1,000, or sorry, 13,608. 13,608. So this is called the lattice method. Let's do one more example with the lattice method. Let's do 751 multiplied by, let's say, uh, uh, 93. So let's do that. Once again, I need a 3 by 2, or actually, if you're thinking row by column, I need a 2 by 3 lattice. But in any case, I need 3 columns for this 3 digit number, and I need 2 rows for this 2 digit number. And then I'm going to put the numerals 7, 5, and 1, 9, and 3, and then I'm going to make my diagonals. Really, this is the exact same thing as we do when we do our 
multiplication, except this is keeping all the things lined up in the correct place values. It's really all that's going on here. So 7 times 9. Well, 7 times 9 is 63. So I record the 6 tens and the 3 ones. Remember, the tens go above the diagonal, the ones go below the diagonal. 5 times 9. Well, 5 times 9 is 45. I record a 4 on top and a 5 on the bottom. And then 1 times 9 is 9. That's 0 tens, 9 ones. Now I'm going to move down to the next row. Well, 3 times 7, that's 21. And 3 times 5, that's 15. And 3 times 1, well, that is 0, 3, 3. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add up my diagonals. Well, the first diagonal only contains the number 3. So I record a 3 here. The second diagonal is 9 plus 0, 9 plus 5, which is 14. I record the 4 here, and I carry the 1 over to the next diagonal. 1 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So I've added that diagonal. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. Plus 2 is 9. And then here's my 6. That one only has 6. So it turns out this product is along the side and bottom here. This is 69,843. All right, and that is duplication and mediation and the lattice method for multiplication.